Hey guys, it's Jay from Skull Gaming Network. Welcome to another Retro Bowl video and welcome to episode 7 of the New York Jets Realistic Rebuild. Today we have our bye week and we take on both the Carolina Panthers and the Kansas City Chiefs at home. Unfortunately, Shuma Ertz is hurt. He injured his calf. He's out two weeks. So he's going to miss our bye week. So he'll miss some development. But more importantly, he's going to miss week 12 against the Panthers. So in our bye week, you know, I do like coaching credits, but I want to get our team leveled up a bit. There we go. Gain a level for Quinn and Elliott. We're going to boost his stamina because we're going to need to rely on him big time against Carolina this next week here. Let me meet with the coaches. Okay. Claire Kilgo, we're doing light training. We can't have any more injuries. Jalen, you know what? The defense isn't really doing much. We're going to bump you up to hard. We need those guys to develop faster. And now we're going to take on Carolina. They are 3-7. and seven. They have a two-star offense, three-star defense. So it should be a pretty even matchup. We have a chance. Let's see how things go here. Carolina gets the ball first, and they get a touchdown. They're up 7-0. We're playing in the rain here. Oh, boy. I have a default quarterback as well. We run with Quinn and Elliott, and he gets nothing on the ground. Second down, we're going to try to throw this in route to Bobby Haynes. Overthrown a bit, but it works. We get 20 yards. We get a first down. Our backup quarterback, I don't know what to name him, uh, but we're probably going to see some mediocre passing from him. We get four yards for Elliott on first down, makes it second and six. Stiff arm there, breaks a tackle, gains 12, gets a first down. On first down, going to throw out of the backfield to Elliott. I was hoping to get the tight end comebacker, but the route just wasn't developing. We get the first down, hand to Elliott. He gets four yards, so it's second and six. On second and six, we're going to run it once again. We get one yard. So we've got third and five coming up. Third and five, we're going to run it and hopefully break through up the middle. Perfect finding of the hole in the line. And we get a 13-yard touchdown. It's seven to six. Kick the extra point here. Fight the wind and make the kick. So it's seven to seven. We're playing in a monsoon of a rainstorm. Start the next drive out and we're going to run it again. There we go, 10 yards, first down. Good job, Quinn and Elliott. On first down, we're going to try to hit the comebacker to Bobby Haynes. We don't have a great quarterback, but we'll use him when we need to. Haynes gets out of bounds to the 40. Four seconds left in the first quarter, and we'll get three yards on the ground to make it second and seven, starting off quarter number two. On second and seven, hand to Elliott. Oh, he gets seven yards in the first. I was going to say, I would take five, making it a third and two. On first down, we're going to look to the tight end streak, thread the needle. It's caught by Bolden, 18 yards in a first down. I'm pushing this backup quarterback to his maximum. We get three yards with Elliott to make it second and seven on the first down. Carry on second and seven. Let's hit the in route if possible. To Haynes, it's deflected. Elliott catches the deflection for the touchdown. It's 14-13, kicking the extra point. The kick is up. It is good. So it's 14-14. Carolina with the ball, and they score to make it 21-14. to Got a minute 50 left until the half. Go right back to the ground with Elliott. He gets another three yards. Second down, we're going to look for Mabin on the in route. There we go. Mabin with the catch, gain of 12 and a first down. I'm going to try to run out most of the remaining clock in the first half. The rest of this drive, you get four yards with Elliott. Brings up a second and six on second and six. We're just going to run it up the middle. We get nothing. So third down coming up here. We're going to look on the slant for Mabin. Hit Mabin on the slant. It's caught first down gain of 14. This backup quarterback, he's not great, but he's making just enough plays. We're going to hit Bolden on the tight end out route. There we go. Get 10 yards. Get the first down. Dive down inbound so we take more time off the clock. Then hand to Elliott. He gets six yards to make it second and four. Keep his legs a little bit more fresh too. We get two yards on second and four. So we've got third and a short two coming up. Hand to Quinn and Elliott. He gets the first down. Gain of nine. 
We've got goal to go from the seven. I'm going to audible. We're going to hand to Elliot, and he gets stuffed for a gain of one. We're going to start to use our timeout second down. Oh, boy. We're going to go tight end streak. Hopefully get it over the top to Bolden. We get the touchdown. It is 21-20. We're going to kick the extra point here, and did I make it? Yes, I made it. It's 21-21. At the half, we get the ball to start the third quarter in a tie game. We hand to Elliot. He gets stuffed at the line of scrimmage. It's second and ten. Second and ten, we're going to hit Mabin, but we overthrow it. That's why we have a backup third down. We're going to look to the tight end streak to Bolden. Throw it up, perfectly thread the needle with a backup. We get 14 yards. We get a first down. Hand to Elliott on first down here. He breaks through the line, gets a strong gain of four. So we've got second and six coming up. We're going to give him an off-tackle run. He gets two yards, so it's third and four. We're going to run it once again on third and four. And we get six yards. We get the first down. On first down, we're just going run-heavy, smash-mouth football. Get four more yards. On second down, I see the blitz. I'm going to try to take a shot to Bobby Haynes, or we're going to throw the in route to Mabin. We throw to Mabin. He gets seven yards. He gets the first down. We go back to the ground on first down and get four yards with Quinn and Elliott. So it's another second and six here. Just run it up the middle. We get five yards. We've got third and short coming up on third and inches. We're going to run it try to beat the blitz and we beat the blitz we get five yards we get the first down on first down we're going to try a little running back screen pass there we go there we go Quinn and Elliott we get 13 we get the first just trying to mix up our looks a little bit okay blitz look run it up the middle we pick up five second and five coming up here Quinn and Elliott he gets a yard so we've got third and four on third and four Run it up the middle, and we get stuffed, so we'll have to settle for a field goal. That was a productive drive. Got a lot of yards, chewed time off the clock, got some points. We're up three. Carolina with the ball. They score, and they're up 28-24 in the fourth quarter now. There we go. Hand to Elliott. He gets eight yards at second and two on second and two. Again, we don't have great quarterback play here. I was looking for the slant and said we're going to check down. We get seven yards out of bounds. First down, let's run it. There we go. Quinn and Elliott, a gain of five on second and five. We're going to try the in route to Bobby Haynes. It's going to be pretty heavily covered. So we wait for him to get open. Big play for him, 21 yards out of bounds. And we're going to throw to the streak to Bolden. Bolden with the catch. He's down to the 11, first and 10. We're going to run it with Quinn and Elliott. We've been doing a lot of that today. We'll take our four yards. I've got to imagine he's getting fatigued. So we're going to try to reduce his workload here. Second down. We're actually going to quarterback run with the backup, with the default. Just take three yards, make it third and three, then throw the streak to Bolden in the end zone. We get the touchdown. It's 30 to 28 with a minute 35 left. Kick the extra point and it's good. So we're up 31, 28 Carolina with the ball and we force the punt. So 58 seconds left. Can we run out the clock? There we go. Eight yards for Elliott makes it second and two on second and two. We get just past the blitzing linebacker. We get four yards, get the first down. That's going to take more time off the clock. There we go. Gain of 10 and another first down. And that has pretty much clinched the game for us. We get five yards with Elliott on first down. We're down to 19 seconds left. Second down. Get stuff, but time's running off the clock. We're down to 11 seconds left. Third down. Hand the ball off, run it back up the middle, and that's going to be close to a first down. It's fourth down. With one second left, we'll kick the field goal. Kick is up, and it's doinked. It's no good, but the game's over. So we win 31-28 without Chuma Ertz. 
We're going to praise the fans. The fans carried us through. Quinn and Elliott, 215 yards and two touchdowns. Bolden, 69 and two touchdowns. 60 yards for Haynes, 32 for Mabin. We'll take what we can get. Wilbur only missed a kick at the end. We're going to boost his stamina. And Chuma Ertz is back for our Week 13 showdown against Patrick Mahomes and the Kansas City Chiefs. Let's take a look at Quinnen Elliott's stats quick. He carried the ball 37 times for 172 yards and a touchdown. Had four catches for 43 yards. Week 13 with Kansas City. They're looking tough. They're 9-2. We're 10-1. Loading into the game. Kansas City gets the ball first and they score a touchdown. So it is 7-0. On offense, Chuma Ertz. He's rested. He gets sacked on the first play. Oh, my goodness. Second and 16. We're going to run with Elliott. Try to get back what we lost. We get eight yards, so it's third and eight. On third and eight, we are going to look for, I think, Leon Mabin on the slant. Yes, Leon Mabin on the slant. Diving catch. Gain of 11. First down. Good job, Chuma. On first down, we're just going to run it up the middle here. There we go. Get six yards. Make it second down. On second down, we're going to look for a deep shot to Bobby Haynes, and it's not there, so we're going to throw it away. Make it to third down. We've got a deep shot to Mabin, but we get sacks. We're going to have to punt. We punt. Kansas City, oh, they fumble. Good job, defense. Training's paying off. We hand to Elliott. He gets three yards on first down here. Makes it second and seven. We go back to the ground on second and seven. We get four yards. We've got third and three. On third and three, we've got the streak to Bolden. Just going to throw it up there. It's caught and immediately fumbled and recovered by the Chiefs. So the Chiefs get the ball back, and they get a touchdown. It's 14 to nothing, Kansas City here in the second quarter. Taking a deep shot to Bobby Haynes. We've got to get back into things. Go, Bobby, go. Gain of 42. We're just outside the red zone. So we're down 14, but we're looking for points. We hand to Elliott. He gets four yards. On second down, we're going to hand it back to you, Elliott, again. There we go. We get five yards. It's third and one. I think this is definite four down territory, unless I get sacked. Hit the out route to you, Bolden, and we get the 13 yard touchdown. It is 14 6. Kick the extra point, and the kick is good. It's 14 7. Kansas City, they're driving. They get a touchdown. They miss the extra point. So they're up 13. It's 20 to 7. We hand the ball off to Elliott. We get five yards. It's second down. We're going to throw the streak to Mabin. We hit Mabin on the streak. 17 yards and a first down. On first down, we're going to look the tight end wheel route to Bolden. We hit Bolden on the tight end wheel route. Beautiful throw from Chuma Ertz. Great job, Chuma. Gain of 29. And a first down in the red zone. Hand it to our running back, Quinn and Elliott. He gets two yards, makes it second and eight. On second and eight, we get sacked. Third and 14. We're going to look to one of our streak routes. We're going to throw deep for Mabin. It's tipped. It's caught. Is that a first down? It's super close. First and goal. What a play. What a play by Leon Mabin. We'll run with Elliott. Gain two yards, it's second and goal. On second and goal, we're going to audible. We're going to run it off the audible. Okay, we get a yard, so it's third and goal. We need a touchdown formation here. Okay, tight end wheel route to Bolden. A little bit cheesy, maybe. It's a really good route. We get the touchdown. It's 20 to 13. Kick the extra point, and it's 20 to 14. We're down six at the half, but we get the ball now to start the second half. So we're not out of things by any stretch of the imagination. There we go. In route to Bobby Haynes. Gain of 12, first down. We've got to run at this play here. We get a pretty good run formation. Elliott gets seven. We'll take seven. On second and three, we're going to look to the tight end out route to Bolden. It's caught. Big stiff arm, first down. Gain of 11. On first down, we're going to hand it to Quinn and Elliott. He runs it. He gets six yards. He's doing his job. We're going to hit Bobby Haynes on the comebacker, second and four here. It's caught. First down. 18 yards. Let's go. Bobby Haynes 
putting in some big time work. Back to the ground with Quinn and Elliott. He gets three yards at second and seven. On second and seven, going to run it again. Jumps a tackle, picks up five and a half, not quite six yards. It's third and a very short two. On third and a very short two, we get sacked going for the tight end in route. So we're going to have to take a field goal here and make it 20 to 17. So we're down by a field goal. We cut the lead from six to three. Kansas City scores. It's 27 17. We're going to take a deep shot here because we're down 10. We need a comeback. We hit Maven for a gain of 21. Get the first down. We run it with Elliott. He picks up three. Second and seven coming up here. We're going to look to you, Bobby Haynes, on the deep wide receiver post. He gets the catch. He gets 19. He gets the first down. On first down, we've got a wide open tight end streak to Bolden with the catch. Gain of 17. We head to the fourth quarter down 10 in the red zone. We're going to hand it to Quinn and Elliott. Oh, he broke a tackle, and that is a 15, make it a 16-yard rushing touchdown. 27-23. Now, I'm going to go for two, try to make it a two-point game. So if they get a touchdown and miss the extra point, I can tie it with another eight-point drive. In going for two, I'm going to hit the Bobby Haynes in route. The in route, Bobby Haynes gets it. It's 27-25. We did not get an onside kick option there. And Kansas City gets a field goal, so it's 30-25. to Back on offense, 2-14 left. We're going to look to the streak to Bobby Haynes. Let's go. He gets his separation. He's behind the defense. 32 yards and a first down. Let's go, Jets. J-E-T-S. Jets, Jets, Jets. Quinn and Elliott, he breaks some tackles. A gain of 22. Our offense is taking over this fourth quarter. If we can get Bolden on the tight end out route, which we tried to. We hit Mabin on the comebacker. It doesn't really matter. We get the touchdown. We're up 31-30. So we're going for two one more time. Trying to make it a three-point game. We're going to audible once. We're going to run with Elliott. We get the two, so it's 33-30. to Kansas City, they punt. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. A minute 22 left. We're definitely going to run clock a bit here. We get seven yards on first down, make it second and three. On second and three, we run with Elliott. He gets nine yards. He gets the first down. And apparently my recording for the last minute of our game against the Chiefs got cut off, and guys, you missed a lot. I'm really sorry that it cut off. A quick recap. We had a 39-yard rushing touchdown from Quinn and Elliott that sealed a 39-30 victory. Wilbur missed the extra point, but we took our 33-30 lead, and we turned it into a 39-30 victory. Unfortunately, we lost our superstar defensive lineman Jamal McGarry for five games due to injury. Not good. Not good. We also had Yurik Beasley get into some trouble for taunting our opponent. He got fined. He's suspended for at least one game. I want you guys in the comments to let me know, should I cut Yurik Beasley or should he be allowed to stay on the team? Because I do have Jamarcus Dorsett, so I could cut Yurik Beasley, and I'd still have one of every position. I'll do a quick stats recap for everyone else. Chuma Ertz, 17 of 18, 272, three touchdowns. He was sacked four times. That's not good. Quinnen Elliott, you can see, long run of 39. Carried the ball overall 21 times, 161 yards, two touchdowns. He was a beast. Damian Bolden, five catches, 75 yards, two touchdowns. He did have the fumble, but we won the game in the end. Overall, 70 catches, 1,001 yards, and 14 touchdowns. We've got Bobby Haynes, 5 catches for 123 yards on the game, just under 1,300 receiving yards with 13 touchdowns. Mabin, just over 900 yards with 9 touchdowns. Marlon Dixon, when you give up 4 sacks, you better have more than 4 blocks. You're not looking very good. Rashad Yadam, only one tackle. What are you doing? Jamarcus Dorsett, why am I paying you? You had no tackles. Steven Wilbur missed the extra point at the end of this past game. He missed, I believe it was a field goal in the game before, but he's still doing a good job overall. 
Jamal McGarry, he's a beast. I'm sorry you got hurt, man. And uh, Eric Beasley, honestly, you might not be a Jet after today's video. With all of that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Leave a like if you did. Subscribe if you're new for more Retro Bowl content with the realistic rebuilds. Again, my sincerest apologies for losing the last minute or so of our Week 13 victory against the Chiefs. We're rounding into form really well. Hopefully we can avoid the injury bugs. I did change the training regime's offenses back to normal. Defense, where we only have two guys playing out of our normal four, has been dropped to light. If there's anything else I should do with this team, let me know. I'll start to work on team facilities in year three. Still trying to build up a few coaching credits here and there because I might need to hire a new coach as well. That is going to do it for now, though. Thanks, everybody, for tuning in. And until next time, and as always, peace out.